it's like a row column based only but uh, the way of retrieval will be decided on the, not on the primary key it is in the primary index basically teradata roams around index mechanism so the algorithm itself is different while storing the data because in other databases it might be in a proper order or not but in teradata the way of storing the data is very random it will not store any particular order based on the hashing algorithm so mm -hmm. if you talk about hashing algorithm right for example for each row each column the hash value will be different right and even if the value is same the hash value will be different so the hash row mechanism will generate you know unique identification keys while loading the data into the table and it will be placed across all the amps so amps are nothing but your, your storing mechanism right so the amps will do all your work for you to get the data do the operation all the stuff so it will be di distributed across the amps with you know even contribution based on the primary index for example you have eight rows and four amps okay mm -hmm. uh, there is no hard and fast rule saying that one two should go to the first amp three four should go to the second amp like that it can be any order but the eight rows should be divided into two into four amps so that the distribution is even that is only happens in case of primary index in this primary index I mean to say otherwise the data will not be distributed I mean because if it is non unique primary index for example so in this case whatever you are seeing here is the primary index and all the amps will be distributed equally with the data and primary index whenever you use any condition where clause or not when pulling the data it will be like a single amp operation so we talk about that in a single amp double amp concept I am talking about the data distribution here so here the order number let's say this is a unique primary index all the primary index here are unique there are nine rows and roughly the data will be distributed across four amp and one amp will get extra record of course because it's a nine record right so this is an even distribution because of the unique primary key you know chosen with error data one of once you create a table right so if you define a unique primary index the distribution of the data will be even and uniform and in case of a non unique primary index still the data will be distributed uniformly but there is a chance of you know uh, the am getting skewed skewed in the sense non non uniform or less uniform you can say or skewness skewness is one of the important factor in teradata which causes your performance issues because here because of the non unique primary index candidate for example customer number you have different uh, customer numbers of course there are duplicates all there right so all ones go into one amp all twos all threes though it's not in a particular order but because of the non unique primary index based on the uniqueness it is actually divided the rows distribution accordingly but sometimes what happens the amps might be leading to a skewness factor skewness in the sense they might be not allocated properly or they might not use at all so this is a real I mean, classic real time issues because we cannot avoid this we have to reduce you know the way of you know, loading the data or otherwise the way of using the column we have to change it because whenever you choose a non unique primary index there is always a possibility that the amp might be skewed because of the less uniform distribution All right so based on the hashing algorithm mechanism the data will be distributed across all the amps in Teradata. So that is the main key point while distributing or loading the data into the tables. I mean, this is all what happens as a background. I mean, as an application developer, I mean, you won't see all this, but you know, this is a concept, right? Theoretical concept. When you write your query, you don't find the difference between primary and non-unique primary index because it is, it is also an a single amp operation. Whenever you use in where condition where employee ID is equal to something it will be always unique uh, you know amp operation one amp operation in case of primary index and secondary index will be different little different it uses two amp operation so secondary index is basically you know useful once you create the primary index the other column which is like you know choice to increase the performance sometimes you know because you have to put more conditions in the table writing the queries you should have other column as a secondary index right in that case you can actually create dynamically but whereas primary index once it is created we cannot you know alter them but in case of secondary index 
we can create as and when required dynamically. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions here? Got it. Mm -hmm. Any questions? So this creation of indexes, uh, mm -hmm. who does it? I mean, you uh, we have to do it initially, right? Uh, what okay. has, what has to be the unique index? What has to be the secondary index? Okay. So yes. how, how in real time most of the yes go ahead yeah how do we uh, how do we uh, define what is what should be the primary index what should be the secondary index uh, tertiary mm. so on all right so it is basically to be in real time how it will actually happens is all the target tables like pack tables and dimension tables which are the core tables will be decided by your uh, data modeler or your DBS. Okay. Okay. So as a developer, I mean you are from application development perspective, let's say, and you are supposed to use those tables which are already designed by the data modeler. Suppose if you wanted to add a new table, you propose a table, a work table or kind of in a target table to the DBS. First of all, the data model will publish the model. Okay, you know, you might know this, right? Data modelers yeah. will publish the model into a development environment mm -hmm. by taking those DDLs, the DBS will publish them into a test environment or other environments. Right. That is how the process will be, right? So, in case you wanted to design a table, you can choose the primary index, of course. Because obviously, by default, the first column will be the primary index if you don't choose any. Mm -hmm. And you'll choose the right candidate which can have a unique or non-unique or most of the columns are unique or something like that based on the data you can decide which can be a primary key right because uh, su suppose you creating a work table to get some data uh, later to join into some other tables okay so let me just give a classic example of real time so for example you have to create a work table okay and your main query will be based on some table for example climb climb let's say climb page or climb uh, climb uh, climb climb page and uh, climb numbers something like that we have to join some three or four tables in the main query and uh, let's say and we have to join to the member table as well to get the member information like first name or last name for the claims who are submitted we have to join all these four tables in your main query and you have to put a lot of filter conditions where blah 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 member, you know, first name, mm -hmm. member otherwise, member address is not now right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. You have to put some lot of condition where claim paid amount is you know greater than something like that. Mm -hmm. We have to write some lot of conditions and all, right? So mm -hmm. what happens if you write directly in the main query, you'll get spool out issues because for example if it's a member table. It's like compute member data. Then you join this member data with member key to the climb table with member key. What happens? You first of all before joining the data, it will put all the data of member into a temp table, right? That is how the joins work. What happens in this case? Yeah, yeah. When you write member key join to the climb member key, you will be running out of spools there because all the member data will be into a separate you know space like a spool space before joining actual applying the break condition it will be spooling out so mm -hmm. what I will do in the work table as a real time you know approach I will put first of all reduce the member data to the main query so that my query doesn't spool out right what I will do is like select member dot member key right and uh, comma like member dot first name I will put all the member data whatever the data I want I will get the data into a work table last name from member where member dot the primary index let's say the primary index column here is member key and other column as well so I will say member dot member uh, you know some some index I will use to put the filter rather than or equal to something based on the restrictions whatever applied to the business and I can join some which is small all the data into select you know all this into a work table right basically uh, like select all this 
and insert into something I will write all self statement like insert all above into some data table like you know uh, the database is let's say TG underscore dev some work table like work table underscore member underscore required information so what I'm doing is I'm getting the work table information of all the members and I will join this work table instead of member here right so I don't use member again I use work table dot member key because I'll get the member key there to join to the main table so that my load will reduce yeah, yeah. because I'm not joining to the entire table that is how the approach is right yeah. so in this case the yeah. unique primary index can be chosen by you because you are creating the work table here but for this work table also to be in real time you have to give the DDS to the DM uh, data models they will publish the model into some data model or database and they give it we have to give it to them to the BDBS and they will publish the model because until you don't have if you don't have a development access directly or a testing access so what you are mentioning what you are saying is the real uh, timetable you don't use it for uh, reporting you use work tables intermediate tables where yeah. you just get real the table also we use that because yeah in the main query we are using some real tables as well climb climb pair climb yeah. number here these are the but main you, tables this is like a view basically you are getting data from the real table yes. but loading right. it into a view uh, work table and this work table yes. you will have only the subset of data that is needed for your reporting uh, right. Or right. Your, and then you retrieve that it so it will be faster so uh, yeah. this is how you do it in teradata also yeah that is what I mean most of the time we don't have access to the real time tables all of them are views only okay? okay so I mean because of the restrictions of the data they create the views and we have to use most of the time we don't directly hit their main tables main tables okay so you hit the views yes. so basically even climb table is also a view okay it might yeah. be a view it is not directly a real time table but underlying table might be a real time data right yeah, yeah. so even work table is also a permanent table yeah, work table sometimes it can be permanent, sometimes it can be uh, temporary. Temporary, okay. So global. Because there are different tables like volatile tables, global temporary tables. There are yeah. different table concepts in Terra data. We can use like volatile, like uh, end of the session we can actually, you know, uh, vanish them or, you know, just uh, delete them oh. after the end of the script or something. Sometimes we can have a persistent data. I mean, persistent table. Maybe you can do trunk and delete every time, you know, truncate and load, right? Something like that. You can actually load every time, and the mm -hmm. same table without deleting the table itself. Mm -hmm. So, also, yeah, yeah. Well, what is uh, what uh, I have I have seen somewhere uh, the concept of distribution key. What is distribution? Key? Yeah, here in the data, the distribution key is nothing but your primary key. Primary index. Primary index. See, the so data, dis yeah, the distribution is nothing but it will distribute based on the primary index defined on the table, and primary index will decide the distribution factor of the data table data. Okay. Whereas secondary index will not play any role in distribution, but it will enhance the performance. Okay. Okay. But primary index affects the distribution. Yes. Uh, so the, when you say distribution, you are saying uh, the Terra data based on the primary index is distributing the data uh, on various AMPs, right? Right, exactly. Uh, AMP1, AMP2, AMP3, is that correct? Yes, yes. Right. Okay. okay. And, and when you retrieve it, how, do you, how does, so Terra data knows it, right? You based on the primary index which AMP the data is. Mm -hmm. okay. Teradata knows, yeah, because based on the primary index, how many AMPs are there and the algorithm it is written right in the architecture. So in the hardware it will come to know how many AMPs are there and how many how many rows of the data can be distributed equally based on the primary index. So all the AMPs can be utilized effectively. So that will be taken care from the Teradata architecture point of view based on the hashing algorithm. 